Hello, my name is Crystal Chibu and I'm your Hope Catalyst. Today, I'm going to be talking about sex education. I came across a book and I want to just share my thoughts on the book. And also because there's been a lot of happenings around, around parenting, around molestation. And um, you might be asking me, Crystal, what has this got to do with grief? It's because at the end of the day, um, you know, people are losing their their innocence. You know, young children are losing a lot of things. Parents are losing their children to some of these molestations. And as a result of that, you know, it gets to the point where you definitely need to grieve about these things. Uh, if you're yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe bo button and turn on the notification button also because this helps you to continue to get my videos and the things that I'm sharing about and that way you wouldn't miss anything at all. So yes, uh, the book is titled Sex Education and it's written by Omolayo Oyawoye and it's basically a guide or I think a tool for children within the ages of 1 and 11. And you know I have an 11 year old, uh, so this is really an amazing tool. I want to take you through a few things that, you know, caught my attention and also um, share my thoughts on these things. And at the end of the day also, I want to listen to your own opinion, your thoughts about all the things that are happening around and what you think we should do as parents, if you have any ideas. Um, and also because in this period, a lot of children just went back to school. I think this is a tool that helps you to equip your child about sex education. And there's always been this whole thing about when is the right thing, time to talk about sex to your child? When is the right time to, you know, broach on the subject? Because sex is something that is for the adults. And so you really don't just want to involve children. But continuously, we're beginning to have children that are molested, children that are abused. And, you know, uh, a lot of parents also are coming out to talk about how they were abused as children. Hence why it's important to talk about, uh, you know, sex education very early. Omalayo is a child therapist so she works with children uh to ensure that they live a, a whole life so if you have any child with disability uh be it autism dyslexia she is the perfect go-to person but more importantly also also but more importantly also this whole thing about sex is something that is a big deal for her and you as a parent can reach out to her and talk to her and see how to get the help that you need okay so uh, uh, the, the book is i think one of the things i like very much about this book is the fact that it's an easy read so the fonts are very clear it's a warm you know the color is appealing it, it, it's just so really um uh amazing to read so i think that's one thing that i really really like about the book the second thing that i like about the book is the fact that you know it has pictures in it that helps you know um the you to understand how best to teach your child with it and it also is a guide so it tells you what to do and when so um i'm just going to read two parts that really caught my fancy of course when you know i told you i have a child that is 11 years so um, the chapter 9 that talks about age 10 to 11 really fascinated me and basically she was talking about what to expect at this age from your children the things that you see um you know from from your child the kind of things conversation that children start having at this age and then what to do um, when you see some of these things happening. And I like the chapter 11. It talks a lot about validating your child's identity. I, I think identity is a big deal. And, and it's important for us to, you know, support and validate our children's, you know, identity. Um, I'm just going to read a part there. She says, let the children know the power they have by being the gender they are assigned so that they can grow up feeling secured 
in their skin. I think for someone like me that has a child with disability, it, you know, one of the things I learned very early is why it's crucial and important for you to let your child know that they are beautiful, they are amazing, and their identity is not defined by, you know, things that um, you know, by your disability, you know, uh, and all of that. You, you need to appreciate who it is that you are and really focus on your identity. Then finally, she talks about children and your sex life. I think that's amazing. If you want to get a copy of this book, all you need to do is look in the description. I'm going to be sharing a whole lot about how to get access to the book Sex Education. It's a must buy for all parents. Again, this book Sex Education is written by Omalayo Oyawi. Uh, one of the cool things is, I mean, it's really for parents to be able to use as a guide to help their children, but also children can read it. It's so child friendly. Uh, I hope this really helps you on the appropriate way to guide and teach your child about sex education. We should say no to molestation. We should say no to child um, abuse, sexual abuse of the child. And we should together build a nation, together build a world where really people live amazing lives. Um, we shouldn't have a, a society where, you know, people are, are, are being abused, Pe people uh, can't even speak up. One of the key things to do when you're working with your child on sex education is they know how to speak up, they know what to do, they know, you know, to have the confidence that they can come and talk to you about what they are going through. I hope this edition of the Hope Wheel has been very helpful to you. One of these days I'm going to uh, bring Omola Yaoye on, on the show and really get her uh, to answer some questions that you all are going to throw back at me. Uh, but obviously from this book, it's obvious that sex education should start from when your child is about one year old. You need to start teaching them about the parts of their body and all of that again i think this is a must read this an interesting read and it's one of the best guides that i have seen around on how to manage sex education and teach your child about sex education thank you so much for listening and watching today um, if you're yet to subscribe you know what to do now just click subscribe and turn on the notification button Have a look.